In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Google's Notebook LM to automatically generate slides from your sources. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, not everybody enjoys creating slides in PowerPoint or even in Google Slides. But if you can use something like Google's Notebook LM to help you do the heavy lifting and automatically generate slides for you, then that's a plus. Now, you'll need to go to notebooklm.google. Now, I already have it open and I'll leave the link in the description below. I'll click on Try Notebook LM and I'll click on that. And uh, because I'm logged into Google, it's going to log me in automatically. Now, uh, there are a couple of notebooks I've worked on before uh, and you can see them somewhere right about here. Uh, some of the few sources I've worked on and I can either click on Create New Notebook there or right here, click on Create New. And once I do that, you're going to get this particular interface, Notebook LM, at Sources. Now, Sources let Notebook LM base its responses on the information that matters most to you. So, for example, whatever source you add, it could be a Google Workspace, a link maybe from a website URL, a YouTube video, a copied text, or even PDF files, documents, etc. That is what Notebook LM is going to base its responses or even generate slides for you based on what you provided. So there's nothing like uh, starting to hallucinate and think of funny things to do. So you can also discover sources and here you can kind of have it do a search on the internet and all that and then create uh, the notebook for you and then generate the slides. Now I'm going to upload a PDF file. Uh, let's choose it. And then I'll navigate to the folder with the PDF file and then just click on it and I'll open it. Now it's uploading right here. And there we have it. And then in the chat box, you're going to see what this particular PDF uh, kind of more or less is uh, the summary of the PDF. Now, if I show you the original PDF, This is what the original PDF looks like. It's just a bunch of text, six pages, and it's on tips to speed up audio and video transcription. Now, what I want to use Notebook LM for is to create a presentation that I can uh, more or less screen record into a good YouTube video. Now, it's already done this, and all I need to do now is navigate to the studio panel side right here, and you'll see the option for slide deck, generate an AI slide deck based on your sources. So no hallucination, just based on the contents of this PDF file. So I'll click on that. And once you do that, it's going to generate the slide deck based on one source. I'd like you to note that this is kind of taking a little bit of time depending on the number of sources that you have. So if you have a ton of sources, this may take you a little while before it's complete. But once it's done, we're going to see what type of slide deck it's created. Is it something we can use and more or less see the creative kind of process that goes on behind this. Now let's just give it a minute and then we'll be back. Once Notebook LM is done generating the slides, you can be able to view the slides from here. So if I click on this once, it's going to kind of give me a preview of what everything looks like and I can actually expand the viewer. And from here you can see what the slides look like. Uh, looks good to me. If I actually uh, navigate through the other slides, it looks good, uh, kind of did what it needs. So there are a couple of options where you can share, download, or play as a slideshow, uh, collapse the viewer, or even close. Let's say we start the slideshow and go back to the start using the arrow keys. And this is what it looks like. So the art of efficiency, a strategic guide to faster transcription. So mastering the craft with a three pillar method for professional transcribers. And it's included a couple of jargon here it's more or less uh, maybe uh, you looking at it uh, looks like a puzzle where you kind of go with quality, craft, power, and so on and so forth. And then go to the next. The transcription challenge, time is the ultimate bottleneck. Uh, more or less today it's not uh, the bottleneck because of AI. And then uh, continue next and so on and so forth. To move from the slideshow view, press on escape. And it brings you back to this view. And to download, just click on download. So it's going to download on your computer. Uh, and once it's done, you can just click on open. It's going to open that particular uh, PDF presentation 
or slides that you've created. Now, the difficult part is editing this particular presentation uh, or converting it to an editable PowerPoint presentation because the way Notebook LM works is they kind of create what looks like a scanned document or PDF document. So unless you use something like Adobe Acrobat Pro, it's really difficult to kind of navigate through this particular uh, option. Now, I've tried to search for free options that can do this. It's a little bit difficult and I've used Adobe Acrobat Online and it's worked once. Uh, and when you try to do it again, it asks you to pay. So I'll be on the lookout for free options that you can use to kind of edit these PDF presentations uh, that are coming out from Notebook LM and see what I get. But that is how you can use Google's Notebook LM to automatically generate slides from your sources. That's it for this video. I hope it's of value to you. Thanks for watching.